Well, welcome back to the third episode in our series on drugs and altered states of consciousness. Uh, one of my uh, former classmates is a psychologist in New York, and he works with people uh, suffering from cancer. And what, he's very, very much interested in easing their suffering. And what he does, he's, he actually gives them a drug uh, called ketamine. And the idea behind this is someone who's been given this diagnosis of cancer and beginning treatment, then they get this exper uh, experience of going through ketamine. And interestingly enough, very often they seem to change how they look at themselves. I'm sure you can imagine people given a diagnosis of cancer, going through you know, the worries, the fear, uh, the pain, not merely of the disease, but also of the treatment. And, and it overwhelms a lot of people to a point where they actually become victimized by it. And one of the things they discovered when uh, 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 one of the patients would take ketamine is that somehow they could change how they saw themselves, change how they, uh, their beliefs in, in what they could achieve in spite of the cancer. So there was a, there was a great, it appears to be a great benefit to providing this, ex this altered state, this drug-induced altered state to the cancer victims. And this, this similar idea is used, for example, with people with post-traumatic stress disorder. There's uh, more and more research coming out to try to help people alter how they look at themselves, alter how they look at this thing called trauma so that they, they don't become victimized by it. And it's interesting that in, uh, in Weber in Saskatchewan in Canada, where all of this sort of uh, uh, drug medication uh, started, that uh, they gave 800 alcoholics in Weyburn, Saskatchewan, LSD in the hope that something would happen and they would find recovery. And the results of those experiments were really quite fascinating. The participants mentioned that through the LSD they had had some sort of spiritual experience, whatever that looked like. But that the results were that uh, were remarkable that a, uh, a lot of the people actually gave up drinking after having this spiritual experience because they said what it did is it altered how they sort of saw the world and saw themselves in the world. So, so this kind of interesting, right? This drug-induced altered state seems to have something that helps people perceive themselves, perceive the world, perceive how they fit in the world in a different way. And that different way seems to have benefits for them in terms of health and well-being. And, and not, not going through, for example, with the cancer patients, not going through all as much fear or as much um, uh, desperation as they, they might have gone through without the academy. Anyway, interesting things to think about. And that's it for this program. I'll be back uh, next time with the last in our series on uh, drugs and altered states of consciousness.